Hello everyone, my name is Sarah the Rainbow Hearted Witch and today I will be doing a comparison flip through of Tarot Collectibles, their Trip and Wait Tarot Stars Edition and their Black Light. So I have done a flip through with the Black Light of the Black Light one. So this time you all will get to see what it looks like um, without the black light. So it's still very, very colorful, really beautiful. So you can see the stars, look at that, it's so beautiful. This is kind of like a glossy covering to protect the cards. Here is the back of the Trip and Wait Star Edition and here's the back of the black light. So both decks come with two full cards. Now on the black light one, we have a female fool and a male fool, which is cool. And for the trip and weight, it's, they look like two identical fools. <laughs> two identical fools. They're twinning. Twinsies. All right, and so here are the Magician cards. The Trip and Wait has the Doves and Rainbows, where the Magician in the Black Light, it has rainbows but stars instead of doves. We also are missing the Infinity sign above the Magician. In this one, we have it. But both beautiful representations of the Magician from the wider Rider, wait, <laughs> such a tongue twister. And then here's the High Priestess. We have the eye, we have rainbows. This High Priestess has the water to represent the emotions, that it's a water sign of cancer. We have the moon. Here we have the moon and then just a rainbow underneath the High Priestess. I love her like her outfit, her rainbow outfit. It's so, it's so pretty. And her, I love her bright pink hair. <laughs> so the trip and weight um, seems a little bit more traditional. It follows the symbolism. It has all of the symbols from the Rider weight deck where the black light removes some of the symbolism, but it's still there for the most part. It's still a, uh, very similar. We have our groovy emperor. The emperor in the black light has um, stars on his pants where he has patches. His pants are bright pink, his are black. They both have flowered shirts on and their peace signs. They both have peace signs on their belt. They're both wearing their bandana headbands with their uh, round sunglasses. He has a long white beard. His is bright orange, which is cool. He has the flames in the background and he has, like he's going through a vortex. <laughs> then of course the Hierophant and both have been changed to the Guru. The black light says love. And here he's on a cloud. This Guru in the black light has mushrooms and his heart is melting. <laughs> This guy is, uh, has a crown of flowers and he is giving us flowers. Then we have the lovers. This is really cool. This one, they look like they're tattooed with flowers. The chariot, this one has the yin and yang symbol and this one has flower power. <laughs> has a flower on it. We have the stars on both, but this one has the rainbow. And instead of um, it being black and white, it's black and blue. Strength, they're pretty close, pretty similar. She has uh, daisies on her dress where she has the background, the stars. She has a rainbow on her cover up and there's a rainbow in the back and it has the sun in the back and the lion and there's 
both behind it is the mountain. So these two are pretty similar. Next we have the Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune and Luck and Chance. So, and then we have Justice. The Hanged Man, they both have butterfly wings, which is pretty cool. He has bell bottoms on. He looks like he has um, tights. It looks more Renaissance. <laughs> but you have the leaves growing up and the same rainbow in the background. This one has butterflies instead of stars. And then of course, but this one you have the stars as the higher, like um, holograph holographic stars in the background. So that's where the stars come into play. So I guess this one's missing the butterflies flying around. The little girl in this one has glasses on where she doesn't in this one. She has, or he has like a crown on and she has a flower in her hair. I love the angel and the black light the, um, with her colorful wings for temperance. The devil. So in the trip and wait, it's very, it, it's a, it seems like a throwback to the late 60s, early 70s with the Vietnam War. I love the tower in the trip and wait. I love that it's mermaids. Then we have the star, pretty similar. The moon the sun, judgment, there's even more people in the judgment card than on the black light. I like that this one has the music notes, that's really fun. See that the angel is playing. And then we have the world. So in the trip and wait, it does not have the extra cards. So this is the extra world card. And then we go to the Ace of Cups. They both say for the Two of Cups, make love, not war. Now this one is more traditional. And then this one is very hippie. Throwback to the six, late 60s, early 70s um, with their clothes and um, the colors and just everything. Where this one is very traditional except for the make love, not war. Which, uh, sell it, which group would you rather hang out with me? Oh, it's the black light one for sure. I wanna hang out with those ladies. Four of cups. I like the, ma the mushrooms and he has a mushroom hat on. That's really cool. Now he has um, flowers like he does but this covers more there's more flowers and um, let's see we have the star in the cloud where this we just have the the cloud the hand offering him you know it's basically the universe is saying here you know here's your blessings take it <laughs> and he's like no I don't want to <laughs> So I like on the black light, the rainbow here and just the colors, but this is really cool. His, this reminds me of Joseph in the Technicolor Dreamcoat and he has his guitar or she, this could be either, you know, man or woman. He has his Afro. This one looks pretty similar. Again, the same with this one. It's just the colors are different. I like that on the black light, it says wish, where in this one, it just, it's the same scene. 
um, but you have the cups up here rather than around. He has a, um, a cup in his hand, he doesn't. I was thinking it was a scroll at first. This one has the fireworks and this one has them in front of their home. Well, the home's here, it's just off in the distance more. This one has the home here and here. So representing that they're in community, celebration. Again, this is more traditional in the tripping weight. And then this one is, um, you know, throwback, very retro. Same with the Queen of Cups. The King of Cups, oh wow, and the Chirpin' Weight, I really like how there's the dolphins and the water, like that's just gorgeous. So it's interesting how here, this one has peace signs. And this one has the stars. And then it, they both have the peace signs. Oh, did I, what did I do here? Well, I mixed that up. So very similar, except the clothing. It's really just the clothing that's different and of course the colors. Now we go back to stars on both of them. And then peace signs again. So very, very similar. They're both working on their peace sign. Working hard on peace. They both have hearts. They're just in different colors. Both absolutely beautiful. I could not choose between. I also like the um, groovy, but if it was between the groovy and the trip and weight, of course I went with the trip and weight and the black light tarot, I just had to have. I just love that whole idea of it being black light. I love her hair in that, that is, she's so cosmic. She's a cosmic queen. We have mushrooms in both. This one has the little bunny rabbits and you see a goat head here. But on this one, it's more, if you can say that about these decks, simplistic. She has a flower, she doesn't, her necklace isn't as defined as the one here. Her hair has flowers in it and leaves growing, like she's giving life, it's just, it's beautiful. They both have grapes on there. And the cows so pretty similar I have to say I do like the three of swords and the wider rider weight better than the thought. Like this is just so iconic. I love this, especially when it's in the love witch. Have you guys watched that movie? I love that movie. That's like one of my favorite movies other than the craft when it comes for to witchy movies. I like in the trip and weight, you can see he's got some records here. He's got the doors and uh, Zager. And Evans, I don't know who that is. And then um, he's got his posters. So his poster has the Four of Swords, and he has a black light poster. 
It looks like blacklight posters in the back and he's listening to the music. This one, he's just, you know, right in the rainbow. <laughs> Again, this one's more traditional, where this one is really far out. It's groovy, man. The swords are both rainbow on both decks. More butterflies. So down below, let me know which one you like better. Do you like the Trip and Wait Stars Edition or do you like the Blacklight Tarot? And did you guys watch the flip through of the Blacklight Tarot? Do you think it's cooler under the Blacklight or without the Blacklight? The deck... Even without the black light on, with the black light, it's still, it's just so, I love how bright, psychedelic neon it is. Oh, so it looks like in the trip and wait, yep, we get two king of wands. I wonder why that is, and it's identical. It's just like the fool, where in the black light, we get the extra, we get the trip and squirrel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching on this Tarot Tuesday, and I will see you on Thursday for Witch Talk Thursday. Bye, guys. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. I had so much fun uploading it. I upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Check them out. I also have a buy me a coffee if you would like to support this channel monetarily. So uh, the links are down below and I will see you all next week. Bye guys.